Oh, three games to go. This is so tense. I'm sure there's more greys up here than there used to be. Hello? Speaking? Oh, how is my head of youth development? Okay. Youth intake. So we do get them. Oh, nice. Well, how is it? The best we've ever had. Hey guys, it's Mozzie Villain, and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream, episode 9 today, and it is getting to squeaky bum time in the league. There are three games to go in the season, and well, we need to, we just need to keep winning, and we'll see how we've been getting on and where we stand in just a second. But uh, the big news is we've had our first youth intake, and our big signing of the, uh, of the youth, uh, head of youth development seems to have come through for us here because... We have got ourselves some very, very good players that have come through. Now, as ever, I do like to name uh, these guys after any uh, Patreon, qualifying Patreon supporters. If uh, that is you, then you see someone here you like, let me know. If you want to uh, have someone rename, there's a link to the Patreon down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, as I've said many times, maybe not on this series, it's not expected at all, but if you do enjoy the content and you are able to, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, but let's have a look at who we've got in here. We've got a goalkeeper. <laughs> We've got a goalkeeper. I mean, he's, he's 16, so we'll see how he develops. Uh, the issue, of course, we're going to have with any players is just being a part-time team is is actually being able to train them on. We've got a central midfielder here who looks decent, good determination as well, so that will help him uh, in terms of development. We've got a left winger. Now, is he, yeah, he is left-footed. Uh, he says he could be a striker, left winger. I'm not quite sure what he is, but uh, I don't think he's a... I don't think he's a striker. Decent crossing, though. Not the worst physically. So unambitious isn't going to be great, but good determination. We'll see. We might get something there. Defensive midfielder. This will be a good, uh, some cover with, uh, you know, we know a little bit thin in midfield, perhaps. So uh, be some good cover in there if he can develop for us. And then the other uh, elite talent is uh, is Carrison here, our uh, attacking midfielder. And again, any help we can get in midfield is uh, is going to be great because we are a little bit uh, a little bit thin on the ground now. I've offered all these guys youth contracts, and we're going to wait. Actually, I've offered this guy a youth contract as well. He is a left footer. That's the, this is the left footer guy that says he's a right winger. Uh, we'll probably look to retrain him as a left winger, but again, we'll we'll sort of wait and see there. There's a few others here. We'll wait and see a little bit further into their trial. I think they're going to have a friendly yet as well, and we'll just kind of see what we get. But I'm not. What I don't want to do is sign a bunch of players because then, I mean, we're only paying them five pounds a week. But you know, five pounds a week times what's that? Ten players, fifty pounds a week. We can put that towards an actual first team player. So. Uh, yeah, so that is that. Very, very pleased with the youth intake, and let's hope these guys become big, big parts of our club moving forward. Because remember, uh, we need to have eight club trained players at the club in the in the uh, in the squad for uh, for the, the league. So, the more of these guys we can get through to give us options, then the absolute better that will be. So, yeah, magnificent stuff. Now there are some games to catch you up on since last episode. The first one was against. I apologise, I can't say team names. Uh, it was against the team. Let's go with Phil Kerr, and uh, you can laugh at how far I was off when you see what it's actually the name is. We took the lead when Maya picked out Travitz run, and Travitz second made it two 0 moments later before Trevitt completed his hat-trick in style. And Oscarson stilled an impressive performance. So absolutely brilliant in this one. The post-Mubama uh, era started with Trevitt taking up uh, the rain. And yeah, I mean, I did, I, I am recording a little bit ahead uh, just because we've got uh, the birth of our son coming up, which all things being equal will have happened as this video goes out. So you guys have probably been saying in the comments for days now what I should be doing. Uh, I basically gave up defensively and just sat everybody deep and compact and we won a game 4-0. So... <laughs> Maybe I should have been doing that all along. Next game to catch you up on was a game I can I pronounce this team, IBV. And Dongala picked out Litson to give us the lead. Litson turned provider for Jonsson to double our advantage. Before Oskarsson found Litson to get his second. And Ndongala completed the scoring. So absolutely brilliant once again. Jonsson got his uh, first goal since the departure of Mubama as well. Litson, this number, this advanced playmaker role, for whatever reason, just seems to be working. Defensively, we were good. And yeah, I, I'm really, really hopeful that we found something here. Let's have a look at the league table. 
And this is how things stand. Three games to go. We are three points back of IBK Kalifek or Kalavik. Um and there's another team that are in, is in there yet as well. Six points is the gap to uh, Selfos at the top. We played them in the final game, of course. So there's a part of me that thinks, let's let them go and win the league. They've got nothing to play for on the final day. And then maybe we can nick something. Uh, the teams we are playing today are... The team that is currently bottom, so you'd like to think we can beat them, and then the team in sixth. And uh, these are both are these both home games? No, I think the first one's an away game. So let's go and see if we can beat bottom of the table, where we will be relegating them as well if we do beat them. And this is the team we're sending out. We're expecting a three, a five, three, two, or a five. Anyway, you can see they're very defensively minded. This is the team we're sending out. It's Zivkovic in goal. It's Binaku, it's Ziba, it's Gunartsen and Runartsen. Uh, Runa, yeah, Runartsen, let's go with that as the back uh, four. Sayas, Maya and Litsen go in midfield. Oskarsson and Ndongala with Jonsson up front. Moa just needs a bit of a break, so that's why he's on the bench. We've got Trivet here as well if we need him. And anything else I need to catch you up on here, I don't think there was. So uh, let's get up there. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Now, if you're wondering, the new defender that we signed a couple of episodes ago, Antonsen, he is currently away with the Icelandic under-21, so he is not here. Pick up where he left off last time. All right, we can go with that, I suppose. Uh, I don't like complacency from our wingers. Uh, and we've only got Oskarsson now that's complacent. So hopefully, uh, we have promised him first-team football. I kind of, not that I, I do want to keep him, but... I also want to keep my job, so <laughs> I've sort of been favouring uh, Ndongala and Moa, who seem to be the better two, but Oscarson is absolutely fine. Uh, there's no, nothing wrong with him uh, as a player. We just, uh, yes, I say, we just need to be making sure that we've got our best players on the field as often as we can. So, yeah, I mean, the, the post uh, Mubama phase of our uh, series here is, has so far gone okay. We've got a corner and it is headed away. Can Sayers get to that? He can. Litson with another chance to whip across in. Jonsson's in there. Can we find somebody? We go back to Renatsen. Sayas across to Binaku. Exon! Oh, what a strike from Exon Toast! A wonderful, wonderful goal. That is amazing. You could say it's that uh, Viking Kerr have eggs on their face because it's absolutely up rocketed, absolutely rocketed in here. He stepped forward from left back and takes a touch, and that is unstoppable. You know what that is? That's, uh, what's his name? John Anarisa-esque back in his day. What a rocket of a shot. We are 1-0 up nice and early on here. Header is well off the crossbar now. Gunnarsson is there. Can he find a teammate? Ziba! And the goalkeeper makes a decent save. Litson to take the corner. We are currently sitting third on the live table. That is headed away. Binaku, shoot. Is he going to line one up? <laughs> he decides against it. Unbelievable. Put your foot through that one as well, mate. We've got a corner. Litson to take. And it's headed away. Now, we've just got to be a little bit careful here for as much as it's been all Grindavik so far. We know that defensively we do have a bit of a blunder in us, but we've got that clear. Oscarson now with a chance to run at his man. Meyer is forward with him. We've got Jonsson up there as well. Meyer will pick it up. Can he find Jonsson? He's unmarked in the middle. We've gone back post to Endongala. The kits aren't the most distinctive here, are they? They do kind of blend together a little bit. But uh, obviously we have the, the yellow in there to... And a slightly lighter shade of blue as well. This has been a long old highlight and that goes over the top. So, uh, yeah, we've, ideally we'd like to be a little bit more structured than that. Please and thank you, team. All right. Can we keep a third clean sheet in a row, which is just unheard of for this team? <laughs> Especially with me in charge. Uh, I don't know what they're like in real life, to be honest. But uh, I'm assuming they are better defensively than we are right now. But I, I, I hope anyway that uh, we're better going forward because that's all we're good at, really. But there we go. 1-0 at the break, away from home against a team that is fighting for their lives. Let's go with... You, things are going well. We're capable of better here. We'll fist pump. Say we've got Faith, Oscarson. Oh, I should have told him not that he was crap. That way he doesn't get complacent. Oh, there we go. He's gained confidence now. He listened to Jonsson, apparently. All right, let's uh, let's let's wait for this highlight. It's a good ball crossing. Oh, good save, Renatsen, with the effort. And was that the highlight? 
Goalkeeper pumps it forward. Exxon is there. Litson. Back to Exxon. Sias. Maya. Do we have somebody making a good run here forward? No, Litson's been caught in possession. We go across. Sias is everywhere. I should say, too, there will be voting on the Viewers Player of the Year award uh, in between the two games, so make sure you don't miss out on that. There's a good ball for Jonsson, and he can't finish it off. You wonder if Mubama would have. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to Mubama, he went back to West Ham, and he's been loaned out to Barnsley. So, yeah. I've never been to Barnsley, so I can't, I can't say what it's like. I'm going to say probably not as picturesque, as Grindavik is from uh, the images that I've seen. Oscarson, ball in. It's a decent one. It's bouncing around and it's hacked clear. 65th minute. 1-0 is the score. We really do need to win this game. And look at the look at the match momentum. It has been all Grindavik. Yet it is still only 1-0. 20 shots we've had. That is unbelievable. Let's give it a focus. All right, Jonsson's not having the greatest game up there. Let's get the hammer up there, see what he can do. Yeah, I mean, this is just sort of terrifying territory now. Let's see if we can get Trevitt on fresh legs for Lidson as well. It's that sort of terrifying territory where we dominated this game, only find ourselves 1-0 up. Header off the post. Trevitt is there again. And Trevitt has his eighth of the season, and that should be that now. It's sad for Victor Kor, Vic Viking Kor, whatever they call. They will be getting relegated now, but we can't worry about that. Good header from Trevor initially. Keeper saved it. Straight back to him, and he just rolled it into an empty net. Uh, Trevor is with us to the end of the season. I managed to get his loan done properly when I kind of clocked on that loans are going to be a little bit tricky for us. And uh, Zebuck gets that headed clear. I mean, look at that. That actually looked like defensive competence, which is... Not something we've seen, but we've given the ball away there. What we don't really want to do is make it nervous for ourselves, and that's exactly what we have done, though the flag is up. And it is going to be ruled out for offside. And only just, but good work there, linesman. And that should just about kill them off. And that is game done. 2-0, a third clean sheet in a row, although we did ride our luck a little bit. But that's uh, a good win for us, boys. Two more to go. So we sit third as things stand. We can't be any worse than third because HK must have lost. Oh, no, they did win. They beat the team that was the second or third or something. So even if... Oh, no, wait. If they win, they would go ahead of us, wouldn't they? But we have goal difference. Why is IBK ahead of us? Oh, no, they're ahead of us on points. Yeah, okay. You know, that's usually the tiebreaker, isn't it? Points won. So it's out of our hands. So it is the bitter taste of disappointment. Like I say, we can't worry about that. But it is always sad, except when it's Birmingham City when the team gets relegated. Uh, Sayas was absolutely brilliant. And guys, two games to go now. We've got to win them all. Okay, welcome back. It is me from the future. Where I've been able to cut my hair. Now we have to uh, nominate. Well, sorry, we have to vote for your viewers player of the year. Thank everybody who did nominate. We had uh, multiple players nominated, but only two players had more than one nomination, if you uh, know what I mean. So those will be the two that we put up for the uh, for the award. So in alphabetical order, the first man is the great man, Devon Mubama. 20 goals this season, two assists, and an average match rating of 7.8. And the second man is uh, Dode Endongala, uh, eight goals, seven assists, and an average match rating of 7.45 for him. Now, if you are new to the channel and you're not sure how this works, down the very top of the description below, there's going to be a link. Click on that. It'll take you through to a straw poll. Uh, make sure that you vote for who you think has been our best or your favorite player this season, and we will announce the winner at next episode's end of season awards. All right, back to the long head freak with bangs. So with two games to go, this is the, how the board are seeing things. They are currently disappointed with our, our bid to finish in the top three places. And the supporters, well, they basically feel the same way. So I'm really, really anxious, nervous that given that our contract is up at the end of this season, you can see right there, we need to finish top three, don't we? Let's have a look and see what we're doing here. We're playing the team currently in sixth. We are in fourth. We're expecting a 4-4-2 out of them. And this is the team that we're sending out. It is the Kovic in goal. It is Exxon. It is uh, Ziba, Gunnarsson, and Runarsson. Sayas, Meyer, and Litson in midfield. Oskarsson and Moa. Jonsson goes up top. We're just giving Endong... He's got a light match load. Maybe he's... 
I don't want to annoy Oscarson. That's the problem. We can always bring him off the bench in Dongala if needed. Hopefully it won't be needed. Uh, and is our center back? Benson, he is back. So let's put him on the bench in place of him. And Slamdahl, I'm thinking, can be used as a defensive midfielder. Uh, he's... He's got most of the basic stats. He's, it's obviously a little bit slow, but I think as a backup for Sayas, I think he would be okay in a pinch. So, yeah, that's what we'll do there. All right, let's go. All right, so we can see the team sheets there, and uh, let's let's see what we say to this. Just pick up where you left off last time. I mean, can we keep saying that? I guess we can. Uh, this is, uh, is a home game. We've played our last away game of the season, so we've got two home games to finish things off now. And, well, if we win both games, we'd be unlucky, I think, not to, well, not to finish top three at least. And, of course, our final game is against the team that is Orbit champions, uh, Selafost right now. The, uh, they're champions in everything but name, I think. So, there we go. We can see there. They are three points ahead of uh, IBK. And, uh, well, if they win here and IBK don't, then they will be champions. But we're not going to worry about that. We just need to worry about ourselves. And, well, yeah, hopefully, hopefully get six points. And uh, if the football gods deem us worthy, <laughs> then they'll take points away from teams elsewhere. And, uh, well, we could find ourselves being promoted or at the very least keeping our jobs. So not much is happening here so far, which is slightly concerning. Um... Here we go. We've got a free kick to defend. Can we get that away? Please! If Kovic will say he sees it over the top. And we've got uh, another highlight now. Zeba just waits to get closed down. Gives it to Exen. It's Toast Scott. He gets it for Lidson. Maya. Sayas. All the way back we go to Zivkovic. Gunnarsson. Nothing silly here, please, guys. Come on. Lidson to Exen. Wide for Moa. What can he do? Always a live wire. Cross for Maya. Litson. Can Litson play a pass? He's looking for Oscarson. Oscarson is not quite there, but he's got possession. Cross in the area for Saul. What a save. Sayas with a shot, and it was a brilliant save. Moa now to take the corner. It's a decent one, but it's headed away. Sayas is there. Down for Zeba. Back to Renatsen. Can we build another attack? No, we cannot. So an even first half, a tight first half. We've had a lot more possession than they have. But chances have been more or less even. Okay, we can get on board with not happy with that. Uh, we can fist pump and say we have faith in them. Get out there and do it. And do we want to go and change anything about the way we're attacking this one? I wonder if uh, if a higher tempo might help us. Um, and let's maybe, if it's not working, getting the ball out wide quickly, let's then just try and be a little bit more patient building from the back. And just hope we don't do anything silly. Oh, Maya wins it back nicely. Just took it off his toes brilliantly. Moa now. Moa for Jonsson, just not quite quick enough. Can we keep the pressure on them, though? Zeba picks up the loose pass. Exen. Zeba. All the way back we go to Zivkovic. Gunnarsson. He's got space to run into. He's got space to run into. What a pass it is for Oscarson! And another save, was it or was it? It was post. It hit the crossbar. Can we win that, please? We can. Jonsson flicks it down, but not to a teammate, unfortunately. And let's see where we go from here. Is Exen going to get to that first? He is. And keeps possession. Well done from our Albanian left back. Zivkovic to Gunnarsson. He stands on the ball. Come on, boys. We just need that little bit of quality. We're taking our time with it, but I'm just worried we're going to get closed down. And we're giving it away in the end. And that's concerning, isn't it? We didn't seem to have anything going on for players to pass into. And they've picked us apart. That's offside, Raf. That's offside. Linesman has seen it, thankfully. And, yeah, it just went too early. It was it was a it was one of those that it was offside, but you're always a little bit worried that the linesman's not going to see it. Let's tell him to focus as the goal kick is drilled long. 
Gunnarsson can't win it, but Gunnarsson is there. He gets it wide for Moa. This is where Moa can be very dangerous. He finds Jonsson. Jonsson goes back to Exxon. Moa's making a run. Jonsson's making a run. There's a good ball for Moa. Oh, penalty. And Litson now, our most experienced player. Can he give us the lead? Litson. Oh, it's saved. It's saved. All right, you can come off. Let's get Trevor on. And we've got a corner. Moa. Decent. It's headed away, though. And let's see if the younger legs of Trevitt can make up for uh, the mistake of Litson in not converting the penalty. Oscarson on the ball. Sayas. Gunnarsson. Looks long. Good pass to find Moa. He's got Jonsson there with him. He's got Oscarson on his outside. Can he pick a pass? Jonsson's got a long, long way. He squares it back to nobody. It's there again for Renatsen. Somebody put a foot in through that ball. Somebody put a foot through that ball. And Sayas has done just that, and it is 1-0 in the 64th minute. What a strike from Sayas. He's got that in his locker. He has a number of long-range efforts this season. All four, it's four goals, I think it said. Look at that. Oh, that is unstoppable. That is a wonderful strike from one of the unsung heroes of the team, really. We'll praise them, and well, let's hope now we can continue to defend properly. We are looking at four clean sheets in a row here. Moa with a corner. Can we get a second to make it all that little bit extra a bit comfortable for us? And it goes towards the back post. Sayas is there. He wins the head. Oh, and it's gone in for Maya. Is it onside? I think it is not. No. Ruled out. How close was it? Oh, I tell you what. Oh, I think we've been harshly done by on that one. Let's hope that that isn't something that comes back to haunt us here. Another highlight in the 80th minute. Can we get that second goal just to protect us from something going a little bit wrong? And Zipkovic is there. Another highlight. Jesus Christ, I can't keep up with this. My poor heart. Renatsen. It's there for Jonsson. He knocks it down for Meyer For Trevitt. Ryan Trevitt. Oh, he's been scoring those all season. And is that just a little bit of a sign of the nerves that is no doubt emanating from the manager's bench? Because I am absolutely crapping myself right now. It is 1-0 in the 90th minute. We're going to go and try and close this thing down. Uh, let me think how we do that. Okay, so we're just making the one sub. We're taking Jonsson off for the hammer. He's just going to be up there as a defensive uh, pressing forward. We're just trying to close the game down here. And let's hope, let's really, really hope that we can do this. Oh, 20 seconds to play. Why did I think we could close the game down? And is that the goal? That oh, Zivkovic has got to do better there. Is that the goal that effectively ends our season and does that does that goal get me sacked? 1-1 one, one at home as well. We dominated that game. Oh, we should have won again. How many times have we said it? And that is that. We cannot be promoted now. We can. We can finish third. But we will not be going up this season. So there we go. Now, does that affect the club vision at all? So they are pleased with a top three finish. So I'm going to take that to mean as long as long as we don't as long as we don't lose our final game against already promoted and effectively already champion Selfos, then we should be OK. We should get another contract, but we could still finish as low as fifth here. It's a massive shame we're going to be in this division next season, but... If the club's in the division next season with me as manager, I can. I think I'm going to be okay with that. We'll live with that. So that will do it for today. If you uh, if enjoyed that, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to go and vote for your viewers player of the year. We'll have our end of season awards next episode. And it could be my final act as manager because if we don't beat Selfast and we find ourselves falling below third in the league, there is a chance we don't get a new contract, which is a chance of anyway, to be fair. So till then, take care.